Hello everybody. Welcome to Shogi Ramen TV. いらっしゃいませ。Let's enjoy Shogi with me. Today, I will introduce the how to play against the Quick Ishida. Quick Ishida style is very strong strategy. So probably you will be annoying against the Quick Ishida style. So today, I will introduce about how to play. Against the quick wish that style. Okay, let's see. And there are many interesting branches. Okay. So, this is the case of the Iwagote. And the opponent pushed this pawn. So, this is the start point of the quick wish that style. And uh, this king move is the、uh, interesting way against quick wish that style. And、uh, If the opponent m o v e the rook here against this king, so there are many interesting、um, branches.、Um, but in the real game, the opponent will close the, this pawn. So the, against the, this pawn,、um, I will introduce, I will recommend to play the Mingi Shiken Bisha like this. This is the、um, basic style of the Migi Shiken Bisha.、Um, opponent can attack from here, but、uh, you can counter from the, this line. So, I will introduce about the, this case. This is very intense case, but、uh, very interesting Joseki. So, the, against this look,、um, I can exchange the bishop and drop the bishop here. This bishop is attacking to this position and this position. An opponent has to defend the, this position. This position is more important than left side because this position is attacking to the rook and the knight. So the opponent has to defend by the king. And I will introduce the Mm, by the gold case later. So the, I have succeeded to create the promoted bishop, but the, against this bishop, opponent has a counter、mm, pushing this pawn and drop the bishop.、Mm, this bishop、mm, looks very strong. Attack to the rook and attack to, to the lance. So the Joseki is the Jumping the knight, this is important. So, if you escape the, your rook like this, you lose the lance. And this is、mm, better for the quick wish the side. So, the, you cannot escape the, your rook and jumping the knight. So, the, this jumping knight is the important way. So, the, if the king is not here, you cannot jump knight and you cannot protect the, this lance. So, the, this king move is important to prepare the jumping knight like this. So, the, against this knight, opponent、mm, can take the rook,、mm, but the,、mm, it's、uh, just exchanging the Rook and bishop, this is even, and、uh, you have already got advantage about the prompted bishop. So the opponent、mm, needs to、mm, more aggressive way. So the take the pawn by rook is the、mm, best way, and the dropping pawn is also the best way. So if the you Move the prompted bishop like this. There is a strong attack. Sacrifice, exchange the bishop and rook, and take by silver, and dropping the rook. This is very strong double rook attack, and it's difficult. If you broke the gold, opponent can take the silver, so you have to take the rook, and the second rook will. Enter this position. 
this is also attack to the king and attack to the silver so the you have to defend by the rook but the opponent can drop the gold so the you will lose the rook and also silver and knight in the future so this is was for you so in this situation if the king position is here that was changed so the why the this king move is important so the, let's see the same cases so dropping the gold in this position you can drop the bishop here so this is check and attack to the gold so you will uh, center will lose the gold so the defend by the king is important against the this dropping the bishop let's back to the main okay so this is the meaning of the king move this is the way to avoid the check from the bishop so the against the, this rook you have to block like this and then opponent can take the this pawn this rook and the bishop is attacking to the knight so you need to defend after that opponent broke the prompted the bishop back to the my area this pawn is very mm, nice move if the, you did nothing for example if you will play slowly opponent can remove the my prompted bishop like this and this look move is very interesting to capture the promoted bishop so in this situation uh, promoted bishop um, yeah. it's stronger than the, this rook so the exchanging is better for the center like this and uh, this pawn is attacking to the this position and it's difficult to defend so for example defend by the rook opponent can drop the pawn uh, this is interesting pawn if you you take the this pawn by rook opponent can drop the rook here attack to the gold and the rook so you need to defend by the silver then opponent can push this pawn and this attack and bishop and the pawn combination is very strong this position is was for you so the this pushing pawn is very nice way to capture the promoted bishop so the against the, this pawn this pushing pawn is also interesting counter if the take by rook you can escape the promoted bishop and attack to the rook and it's difficult to defend because if the rook escape here you can attack to the bishop and the rook and uh, it's difficult to defend both so the opponent has to sacrifice this is already better for the your side so the this pawn opponent cannot take so the opponent has to escape like this and then you will move the promoted bishop this is a preparation to move the here if the opponent did nothing you can escape the prompted bishop this means that you can keep the your advantage so, and uh, against this pawn your opponent can check by bishop and push this pawn this is a interesting sacrifice after that you can move the rook to the attack to the bishop 
見つけた時に。And this is also the capture way to the way of the capturing the promoted bishop. And in this case, moving the rook here is a good way. So, because after the exchanging the rook and bishop, opponent can push this pawn. But the, in this case, the Gotes castle is Nakazumai. So, the attack to the, from the central line is the best way. Opponent can push this pawn, but the, you can attack with the knight and rook. So, this is、um, still difficult, but the,、um, it is interesting for the US side because you can focus on the attack and the opponent has to defend. So, the, if the opponent Take this pawn. You can move the silver to protect the disposition. And next, you can take this pawn so the opponent has to defend by rook. And then you can move the rook here. This is the、mm, nice way to utilize the, your rook and also attack to the bishop. An opponent has to escape the bishop, and after that, you can escape the promoted bishop, and you will keep the, your advantage. So, this is also a difficult situation, but the,、mm, you are a bit better than the opponent. Okay, probably I have explained the, all cases. Back to the first position. So, against、uh, this pawn, moving the king is an interesting way against the quick Ishida style. If the opponent still t r y to you move the rook here, you can exchange the bishop and drop the bishop.、And、this is interesting, Joseki. And、uh, if opponent Close the bishop line against this king. You can play the Midi Shiken Bishop or also you know, Bow King. You can play the Bow King using the right goal. At least opponent、um, has to close the, this bishop line so the game will slow. Okay, thank you very much. See you next ramen. Bye bye.